Welcome to another episode of the Back Catalog Chris Cast. This is the podcast where we, and by we I mean me, Chris, my co-host slash co-founder, Chris, we dive into the streaming services and we tell you, the Christner and the Crewer, what the best Christmas movies of 2023 are. And by 2023, I mean you're going to watch them in 2023 because it is the most wonderful time of the year. It's Christmas time, Chris. We are here. We're, we're, we're jumping into the pointy end of the year. You know, it's, it's that it's that time of the year. The shops are full. The shops are full. full. People, are getting, people are getting excited. They're switching off. They're switching off ready to go into the Christmas season. But here at the back catalogue, we have not. Because today we have got, let me get it up for you, 1984's very own Gremlins. I'm going to give you some facts, then we'll get into it, okay? Chris, is that, is that okay with you? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just looking around, I see some, some new foliage in the, in the studio. We got foliage in the studio because we're, we're moving up in the world. It's Christmas time. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Maybe we'll get some tinsel for the next episode. We might yeah. get some tinsel for the next episode. But we'll see. Depends on if we record that today or if we record that next week. (laughs) So I'm going to give you the facts. We'll get into it. This has got the 7.3 out of 10 on the IMDb. It's got 86% on the Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to give you the synopsis right here, right now. Follow the life of a boy who inadvertently breaks three important rules. No water, no food after midnight, and no bright light resulting in hilarious mayhem and destruction in the town. And we're here. We're here for the gremlins. We are here. Here's the thing that I want to talk about today. I want to talk about how (laughs) this movie may have been better as like a, you know, 15 minute short. That's 100% facts. I mean, is that 100% facts? I mean, we're here on the Back of Love podcast. We are fact checkers. <laughs> yeah, and they, those those are the facts. This movie, I mean, they say it's hilarious. I laughed once in this movie. The time I laughed, it was hilarious. <laughs> now, look. Uh, Which we'll get into. We're going to get into it. And I think I can say exactly when it's going to be. Yeah. Because it could be the slapstick humor out the wazoo. Let's just give the general, you know, general synopsis. We got, we got, so we've got a, a inventor dad. We've got a family, right? We've got this family. It's around Christmas time. They're trying to find the best gift for their son. Well, at least the dad is, you know, he's on the road. He's an inventor. He's in Chinatown. He's in Chinatown. And like, I, I didn't, I didn't know enough about things, but like, there was, there's probably lots of things in that scene that were racist. And when, <laughs> you know, we, <laughs> but it's Randall Peltzer, right? And it starts off with some, Randall Peltzer, it starts off with some exposition, right, regarding this story of this, hey, of this young boy. you know, boy. have I got a story? Oh, everyone's got a story, but this story is killer, bro, <laughs> is effectively what he said. Is effectively what he said. And he says, I'll be selling stuff on the street. And you're in it, you're in it, you're in like a, at the time when he's walking it, there's like smoke, there's like, you know. The wild thing about this movie is he's an inventor and there's these whole things, oh, he's got these inventions. Got the... There was nothing about the movie that took the inventions as a part of the plot, really? Like, you would have thought, like, he would have killed about six, seven gremlins with the inventions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I've got the, the gremlin of fire 3,000. Yeah. And it would, he would have just press a button and it would just, like, pulverise 15 of them. Like, I'm hotboxing, like, 24 gremlins in, yeah. this, in this car right now. But it, was, there, was there anything? I mean, I watched this, you know, a couple of days ago, so my memory's probably not great. I watched this yesterday. I, I don't, you know, the, the, the inventions. Did anything come into the the movie that was related to the inventions. I mean, the the the, the mother pieced up a, a gremlin in, in one of those things, but that just looked like a regular kitchen yeah, appliance. She, she, just, she just sort of put them in a blender style thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember exactly if there was any 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 specific Randall Peltzer, uh, you know, TM'd uh, products that were used to kill gremlins. But the funny thing about him is he 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 rocks up into this into this thing. He's in he's in this like real dingy looking street. There's 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 uh, you know steam coming out of places. It looks like there's there's business going on, deviant business going on. Yeah. And then he's saying talking about I sell things. And I'm thinking, what's he slanging out there? You know, <laughs> what kind of kids movie are we get into yeah, with is Randall Pell? Is this a children's movie? Is this aimed at children? I, I think he, I think it is. I think it is. It's one of those like, hey, this is like a horror movie for kids. You know, because there's horror elements in this. You know, there's some scary things. Like, for example, you see a gremlin who have a, who have a, who have a trench coat on and he would come out and he'd be like, if I had a penis, you'd see it right here, yeah, right there now. Was, there's, there was so many things in this movie that I can, I can see that they're trying to be 
comedic in here, but it was just, it was just not funny. Well, a lot of it is just like, hey, think about this, right? There's these little green things, right? But they're all deviants. Like they're 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 smoking cigarettes. They're they're if they, if there was a strip club, they'd be there, and 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 they and they're doing all those things, right? This this was this movie, but the issue was this was this movie for, you know, like fifty minutes of just you'd seen gremlins doing like human things, but like the worst of human things. It's it was. I mean, I don't care about the gremlins. They weren't. I, I'll rather the gremlin before the, the the mogwai. Yeah, the mogwai gizmo gizmo. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, and and again, you know, we're we're, we're creating a movie. It's around Christmas time, right? It's around Christmas time. So you, you, you're telling me if you're going to sell some toys, you're going to sell some toys from the Gremlins movie. You're not going to be selling, selling the Deviants. No, nah, but you get you, you might get uh, like hey, a... Hey, come a, into Kmart, you can get the Deviant Flasher <laughs> Gremlin 3000 <laughs> and you can get the, the other one that smokes 15 cigarettes. You know, it's like that Seinfeld episode when Kramer's drinking and, and smoking at the same time. You can get that, but it's a Gremlin. <laughs> but, you know, there might be... There'd definitely be a Mogwai being sold. You'd definitely get some Gizmo toys out yeah, there. Yeah, but they, he was barely in the movie. And and when he was in the movie, he did Nathan. Yeah. There's that scene. And I mean, you know, he does take out Spike at the end, technically. But there's a scene where he's driving around this toy store and you're like, ah, oh, he's going to do something now. And then he crashes his car and then he just, he's sitting there for a couple minutes and he's like, ah, oh, I'm going to open up this vent. Which See, is if gonna- he was there, if he was there calling like the RAA, <laughs> he was calling like the insurance company, yeah. that would have been funny. That would have been funny, you know? And like some Mogwai like insurance men like come up, they're like, we can't do anything about this. We can't do <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't read the fine print. This is this is a write off, but you're not insured. Now you know there there is more Gremlins movies. There's there's the Gremlins, the new batch. So maybe there's more to it. Yeah, maybe but it's we're more... not talking about the new batch. We're no, I know about this batch. But I'm talking about you know if we're talking about is there something here for the Gremlins? Is there something that people have taken and enjoyed from the Gremlins? Now there definitely is because this made like 212 million dollars, which is wild because it's it's such a boring movie and it's got good. Like it's it's seven point whatever and yeah and eighty something percent on the, Rotten the, Tomatoes. The plot is kind of trash. There's so many irrelevant things. At one point, the, you know, he has some romantic interest. That what is his name? Billy. And Billy. Yeah, Billy. Billy is the main this character. Lady. Oh, I can't believe you don't like Christmas. Yeah, nah. One day, my dad thought he, oh, he, that that made me laugh. Dude, that was too funny, because, man. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry. So the humans in this in this movie, you know, they, they do they do their job fine in this movie, right? Uh, I think Billy's quite good in his role, and you know, he's not a man that I've seen very much of. I looked at Billy as I, I, I looked at his. Uh, but also, there was nothing there. I mean, yeah, but but he was I mean, Billy, the type of guy to go in, and see his teacher lying dead on the floor, and be like, <laughs> "Well, <laughs> I mean." What can we do now? I mean, this is just this is just the state of the world. That's right. right. He doesn't check if he's dead or not. He just no, no, no pulse, no nothing. No. Just hey, look, this is what it is. He's bleeding out under there. <laughs> he's gone. Ah, uh, nah, it's, that's out of my scope of practice. So, so Billy and and he there's there's a person called Kate who um they 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 sort of have an interest in each other. They they're very friendly with each other throughout the whole movie. And then you know you know they 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 get put in this gremlin town. They they're fighting off gremlins together. And Kate says, "Hey, you know, I hate Christmas. This just this just solidifies the fact that I hate Christmas." And you're thinking, like, maybe she got coal in her stocking. Maybe she got something. <laughs> and then it jumps from being like, "This is a movie where there was a gremlin who who showed his penis that didn't exist, but he did it right." And then it goes into this. this Does that make sense story. though? That makes sense in in the sense that they they don't reproduce. Like yes. Like, like a we do. regular, yeah, like we do. Yeah, like the animal, the animal kingdom does. With no, like, you, with you like just spray water organs. on them and, and, and that's it. Yeah. The, it's, so Kate yeah, goes yeah. into this story about how, why, why she hates Christmas. And <laughs> I mean, they needed to make a short film just based on this. This, this, was, hila- this, this, this. was hilarious. How do you, because it's, it's, it was, I feel like it was clearly meant to be something that was meant to go, oh, man, that's real That's real sad. Yeah. But what dumb idiot thinks going down the chimney in a Santa suit <laughs> is a good idea? So so the dad, so what, what happens is it's, it's Christmas Eve. The dad don't rock up at, uh, at home. It's, it's late at night. The dad hasn't rocked up at home. They, they ring up the office. No one's at the office. You know, it's closed for Christmas. They're ringing up places. It's, it's been days. 
Christmas has been and gone and their dad has not come home. So they get on the dog and bone with the police, right? They get on the dog and bone with the police. Police have sent out a search. They're like, hey, look, I know it's Christmas, it's cold, let's put on the fire. <laughs> they go to the chimney and, you know, she, she starts smelling things. Kate starts smelling things. She looks up the chimney. Her dad just dead in the chimney. He's yeah. just dead Effectively, in the chimney. Effectively, that's the... He went, he <laughs> wanted to surprise the family. So in a Santa co- costume with all the toys in his hands, he jumps into the chimney and breaks his neck. <laughs> okay? Now, we should laugh because, like, there's, you know, just based on, you know, probability that some man's done this. Yeah, no. In real life. <laughs> that's right. But to, to have that in a movie like this... Which it's, you know, that's pretty dark in just the Because I was expecting, oh, yeah, no, nah, my dad, he didn't make it home. Like, he, he like ran out car. of me or... Like, yeah, or something yeah. like that. Some, some, something that was not hilariously just out of the realm of what you would think would happen in, in but, that story. But also is this dark humour. That's what I, I don't you know. know. Was this was this done intentionally to be like, hey, look, you know, we've got the deviants showing off things, and look at this. This is actual funny, but if you have a dark sense of humor, you're going to find this funny. I see. I don't know because there's so many things about this movie that are out of place. Yes, the, 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 the movie felt like honestly it felt like Spider Man Three. They got 15, <laughs> 16 plot points, yeah. and they got it. All right, we're going to do this, but they just didn't wrap up any of them. They just they just started them. I mean, they, they wrapped up the fact that, like, they kill all the gremlins. Well, at least we think they kill all the gremlins. And then, uh, you know, the Mogwai gets taken. That's, that's, the, that's the, the start and the end of a, of a, yeah. of a plot point. But that's, that's, that's but the extent of it. there's nothing to do with this dude as an inventor. There's nothing that it really... Every scene where he's in, it just feels like, well, he's on the phone and there's a robot next to him <laughs> talking about, yeah, man, like, my fluid's got to be changed, but, you know, I, I can do better than your average human. That's right. Regularly or whatever. There's no, there's no real end for Billy. He just loses the Mogwai at the end, and he's like, "Hey, well, I guess that's the the state of it. I've lost my Mogwai now." Because they didn't even use, you know, they, they were fighting gremlins in the house. They just used kitchen knives. Yeah, they didn't use like you know the the Juicinator one three thousand. No, that's right. They didn't um, use that. They didn't use the the handy dandy. Uh, you know, you can brush your teeth and shave your face <laughs> yeah. at the same time. Yeah, the uh, the bathroom pocket or whatever yeah, the pocket the bathroom, bathroom buddy. Bathroom buddy. He, you here's the thing that I want to say quickly about the the, <laughs> the bathroom buddy. No, the Christmas tree thing. The no. Christmas light down the chimney thing, right? <laughs> So let's say you're the dad in the, with you know you got the Santa suit on. You're at the, you're on top of the house, right? You got all the presents like How one big in each are chimneys? arm. Well, you know some chimneys are, are are big enough for for you know Saint Nick to go down. See, I don't even know, man. Yeah, but some people they just have like a little flute at the top, you know, and it's, yeah, it's wider. Yeah, because the, the, the fireplace is wider, but the it wider. doesn't. <laughs> yeah. You don't. Yeah, I it don't. doesn't just go continuously up at the same. Necessarily Look, the I've same. after watching the Gremlins, I was driving around, I was looking at people's chimneys. I'm saying every single one of these is not big enough for even a small child to fit down. Well, <clears throat> the funny thing about it, right? <clears throat> Let's say it is big. Let's say it's big enough for a man to fit down mm. and slide down it. Okay. Now, no, 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 there's no sliding down. There's just, just falling, falling down. down. Okay. So let's just say, like, I'm, not, I'm saying there's no room for me to, like, even slide on the sides. I'm just going to go down, right? That's natural selection. That's natural selection, okay? Now, let me add some, let me add some presents in my hands, okay? <laughs> so I've got, I've got underneath my right arm, I've got, you know, I've got, the, I've got the Furbies, I've got all those sorts of things, you know, whatever kids like yeah. these days. And then the left arm, you've got, like, Tamagotchis and... I've got Tamagotchis. Whatever I've, they had I've got 80s. Digimons. I don't even know what the 80s. Uh, yeah. We, we, like yo-yos and slinkies. We got yo-yos That's and it. slinkies. And like maybe he could have used one to like repel himself down. This guy gets into a chimney. <laughs> if he's getting in feet first, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to do the maths in my head while we're doing it. If he's getting in feet first, he's, he's just looking straight down at this hole and he's thinking, okay, I'm just going to slide down. And I'll just land and maybe I'll like bend my knees to break my fall. But the thing is he breaks his neck. So man's goes in head first at least. Yeah, but he's he's stuck in the chimney. But he's broken his neck. That's what I mean. So, so he's gone head first, broken his neck against one of the sides of the chimney, and then he's been stuck there. Or he's gone in head fir- feet first, and then, I don't know, hit his... Because he didn't make it down to the chimney. <laughs> no, because because they would have seen him like, uh, like out at the bottom. <laughs> 
<laughs> I woke up this morning. Oh, there's, there's stockings. There's more stockings. <laughs> oh. oh, Dad? Because <laughs> either he's he's either he's so far up the chimney that his legs are out. Because how does he get to the middle of the chimney and stop? You know, he's either so far up the chimney that his legs are still out the top. Yeah, right? I, don't, I don't imagine the chimney being a you know a conical shape that funnels down. <laughs> And that could have been what happened. Maybe it's like conical shape and he's like, oh, no, I didn't realise it was conical. I didn't realise. <laughs> There's some, you know, if you've thought about it enough that you're like, I'm going to be Santa Claus, I'm going to be St. Nick, I'm going to come down the chimney and surprise my family. You've at least shone a torch down there to see. Nah, but man, I mean, man, you know. man's just got there. He got the, he, he had the <laughs> slinky in one arm, he had the Furby in the other arm, he put the Santa hat. He got on the springboard and he just dove straight in. Dude, That's what he did. The way that he would have broken his neck is he would have had to like just done like a like a full dive in there, but no hands in front. Just just Slinky's out the side, <laughs> Furby's out the other side, and then just the head first. You imagine Kate's there saying to Billy, "Yeah, man," and turns out it was my dad. He'd broken his neck <laughs> and he's but, and Billy's like. <laughs> man, that's the dumbest way to die. <laughs> Because then Billy's doing the math. He's like, listen, so let's <laughs> let's think about the shape of your chimney. You know, the, the other funny thing is she says, I figured out my dad was dead and that Santa Claus wasn't real in all in one day. And I mean, like, one of those is far more traumatic than the other. You know, like, who cares about Santa Claus? Presents. She never getting presents anymore. That's right. I mean, yeah, it's true. She's never getting presents, like, you know, because how are you going to celebrate Christmas? Because in the 80s. Because in know. the 80s, Santa Claus was real. Yeah. But like climate change, he, he the North Pole just ain't thriving as it used to. That's yeah, that's right. You got brown bears at the North Pole now. You got brown bears, at the dude. North where, Pole. where, 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 where? You know, this is you know in the most wonderful time of the year here in Australia. It's 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 meant to be summer. Yeah, I mean it's it's a winter's day. It's rained for the past. We were talking about this. It's <laughs> rained for the past two and a half days straight. Straight, <laughs> no reprieve. I mean, my grass is looking fantastic. I mean, yeah, that's exactly. You want it? Do you want it to be raining in summer? Yeah, because I, I don't water my grass. That's, 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 you know, that's Mother Nature helping out. Okay, was there anything in this movie that you said, like, hey, this is the hitter? Because there's a funny bit that you said, and I want to know if it's the same funny yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this lady in the movie called, <laughs> I don't know, Mrs. Beagle. Yeah, Mrs. Beagle, yeah. Which is another, it's just another thing that was just not really that. So she's a Scrooge character. And she comes Scrooge in, she's character. like, I don't care what kind of day it is. I don't care if it's Christmas. I don't care if you ain't got no food on the table. And I mean, there's a comical bit with her at the start where she's like, she's walking into the bank, right? Because uh, my man's, my man's Daniel, no, Billy works there. And she's like, hey, your dog broke my, my snowman, whatever. This family come up to her and they got like, you know, they got like grease and, and dirt and scum on their face, you know? <laughs> Because they're, they're just showing that, like, this is what a poor person looks like in this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this very pristine neighborhood. And they say, oh, you know, Mrs. Beagle, it's it's Christmas time. Like, me and my, fa- me and my, my husband are working, but, like, we haven't got enough to make ends meet. We can't pay the rent this week. And Miss Beagle says, like, hey, look, you know, much like the bank, all I care about is my money. So how are you going to get it to me? Get it to me. Anyway, then as the family walks off, one of the kids says, mom, I'm so hungry. And the mum says, me too, son. Me too. <laughs> and I'm thinking, after hearing, like, after talking through the Santa Claus bit, was that done for comedic effect as well? I, d- I, d- I don't <laughs> think so. Or is the writing just so bad that I they're I honestly like- think it's just a, a trash movie. No, because if it's done for comedic effect, I can give some points, extra points back to this movie. Because is this, is this just dark comedies? No, because it's not. I'm looking at the genre here. You're looking it's horror fantasy. It's horror fantasy. So it's, it's, not, it's not comedy. I mean, it was. It, it was. was now there was. There was. There was definitely comedy. I. I don't think it was because it wasn't. It didn't feel satirical. No. It. It felt like they were trying to make this lady feel like a real. Yeah, a real Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. You know, with cook goose, and I just there was. You know, there was the part where she's mad at all these people. She's mad at the dog. Oh, I'll kill your dog. I'll, I'll, I'll drown your dog. That's so wild. She's just in front of everyone saying, give me your dog. I'm going to kill him. Yeah, right here. No, just give me him. I'm going to kill this dog. <laughs> no, no, like, hey, give me the dog. You know, I'm like Cruella de Vil. Like, you don't know it, but I'm actually going to, like, turn it into 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 clothing. Yeah. Your clothing line of Dalmatians. In this one, it's like, I'm going to kill your dog. Is that what happens in that movie? That's what it's all about. That's wild. 
Cruella de Vil, she's just she out here. She 115 like, Dalmatians. I mean, she got some. She 100% got some. She got some. Yeah. But go on with, uh, with this beagle. Yeah, so she's there and she's doing, you know, oh, I'm a, I'm a mean lady. And then at one point, the gremlins are running the, house, running the town. Yeah. <laughs> they go into her house. One of the gremlins, she's got one of those seats that go up the, the stairs. Yeah. A spiral staircase. The gremlins are messing around with the elect. They were doing a lot of electrical work. They were one hundred percent all on the electrical work because, like, they had to they had to turn off lights. They, they had to do all those sorts of things. Yeah. And so she's there. Oh, someone's at the door. She goes down the stairs. They're doing electrical work. It's carolers, and it's like the gremlins doing Christmas carols. <laughs> yeah. And which that's, that's comedy. Which you know? yeah, for for other people that aren't me. <laughs> and she goes back onto her chair. She presses the button to go up. <laughs> And it just <laughs> launches her <laughs> up the stairs, the spiral staircase, and you just see her fly out the window. <laughs> and she's flying out with like arms forward, legs forward, and her butt's back. Like she's flying. <laughs> that part of the movie, I watched that and I was thinking, this is this is comedy. Yeah, dude. this is it. Because she's dead. Oh man, they they killed that they many killed people. So many people in this town, and it's like, hey, maybe this was just a hoax. Maybe this is all a hoax. You know, there's a man on the radio. He's like, hey, look, we're we're bringing in, yeah, we're bringing in the authorities. They're gonna they're gonna bloody fire hose these people down. They think it's all some sort of hoax or some sort of riot. There's these damn green men coming around into town, killing folk, killing folk. <sighs> What's her name? Miss Beagle dies. She flies out the window. The police looking, and we did another movie in which police didn't believe it was happening. We're, we're going to talk about that next week. But <laughs> dude, she, when she goes flying out this window, when I because I've seen the Gremlins before. When I remember, when I was thinking about that scene, I was like, "Is this like? Am I thinking of another movie that satired this movie?" And then when I saw it, I was like, "No, this is this is this what is they've the done in this movie." And this is again another another. Another thought that I'm thinking, maybe this is that dark humour. Maybe this is what the whole movie is about. Maybe those two things were a joke. Yeah, but the the fact that there were so many parts of this movie that didn't add to the story and were just, they started and just didn't go anywhere. It felt, it felt like they, they had many ideas, as you said, but they just it didn't all wrap I, up. I, I can't, I can't in, in good conscience believe that the writing was intentional in right. those parts, yes, I because see. the rest of the writing feels garbage. It just feels like, hey, we've got an idea that could sell toys. Yeah, did like, they sell toys? I, I reckon they would have sold toys. You reckon they would have sold? Toys? I mean, you see, a, you see a gremlin looking like a stripe. Did gremlins sell toys? And I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. You know, I'm going to ask the people this: Did gremlins sell toys? Now, the other thing is, would you, I mean? <laughs> the first thing is, did did gremlins kill anyone? <laughs> yeah, brother, like Miss Beagle dead. Actually, what was one of the? Someone was getting pieced up by about three, four gremlins, and the two, the sheriff and the deputy, are there in the car, mm-hmm. and they're just looking at him. And the, oh, the dude's dressed up as Santa, and he's got four <laughs> gremlins on him, and the de- and the sheriff, the police officer, just looking at him like, oh my god, <laughs> someone should do something, and they just drive yeah. off. He he's saying someone should do something. He's like he's the police officer with the gun. The other funny thing about this movie is there's just parts where gremlins have guns. Oh yeah, there's there's they they shooting at Billy They're at one point. <laughs> like point blank range, they got guns on Billy. Uh, I mean, there is toys. I don't know if they were sold um, at the time. Like Gremlin Stripe, seven inch scale action figure of of, of this man Stripe here. Yeah, this is, this is not. But a good yeah, movie. no. I, look, let's get into the ratings here, then we'll get out of it. All right. I'll give it a four just because that lady got launched out the window. Yeah, I think this is a flat five. The one thing that I did like about this movie was, so one of the issues that we've had with the past Christmas movies is, is like, you can't watch this at any other time. It just doesn't feel like you can watch these movies at any other time. Mm. Whereas this one feels like, even though it is set in Christmas and there's you know the the, the Santa Claus that goes in the chimney breaks his neck. It doesn't feel like you need to just watch this at Christmas. Whereas like something like The Grinch, actually, you know, even Home Alone 2, you can watch that out outside of Christmas. But something like The Grinch, it's like, I don't want to watch that at any other time. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. I don't, I don't want, want to watch, watch that, that movie ever again. <laughs> but I feel like it, this Gremlins movie can have its place outside of Christmas. So I'm going to give it a five. Oh, so there was another thing. There was, 
There was one. See where we're trying to get out of here. You're, you're staying in. No, no, no. Because there you're, was, you're doing Gremlins. The new there was batch. one line in this movie that that, that furthers my point. In okay, that okay. they just you know someone was on LSD when they came up with this. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember who said it. It might have been. It might have been Kate because she didn't like Christmas. While some people open up presents, others are opening their wrists. I mean, that's wild. They, which is, you know... Because we're in a kid's movie here. That's, but they were saying, oh, yeah, you know, Christmas time is the highest rate of suicide. Yeah. Because people... Which, you know, that's a valid I point. I mean, there, there, there's, you know, there's, there's facts within that, but there's, it's also, you know, we go to a movie where there's a... There's that's a, what I mean. This is a, this is a strange... But is it... Is it but see, this is, this is another point to that thing. Brother, that's not funny. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Dark humor is not funny to everybody. Dark humor is funny to the people who be like, dude, I'm dark. Oh, I got humor. <laughs> you know, I'm dark like that. Oh, you go into my house, there's a slip knot posted. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm dark like that. This is, just, this is just dumb idiot things for, <laughs> for a whole- Is this dumb idiot things for dumb idiot people? Because if it is, we would like it, but we don't. We don't. This we is don't. just dumb idiot things. This is just dumb idiot things. You know, in the, in the end, they're talking about, you know, the, the, the guy that they bought the Mogwai off of. He comes back, come collect. Yeah. I can't believe you, you, you took this from me. You lost all the, you know, you people, this is what you do. You take nature's things and you destroy them. Was Where that the, the message here? Where the hell did this come from? <laughs> the best part about it is like, yeah, I can't believe you bastards have done this. You take you, know, you take the treasures of Mother Nature, you destroy it. Anyway, I'm going to put it back in this box. I never open this box again. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this damn mogwai. Yeah, at the start. <laughs> oh, no, that mogwai, it's, it's priceless. I can't sell it. I can't. It's in a box undercover. It's in a box undercover in a space where everything is for sale. Everything is for sale. Like, brother, you know, Randall Peltz was selling himself at some point. You know, that's what I thought was going on. I thought Randall Peltz, he ain't an inventor. He's selling, he's slanging something else. I'm going to give this a five as well. I, I reckon that's too high. Well, you gave it a four, so that's only one. Oh, on no, I'm thinking five. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I reckon it's at 3.5. Okay, you can give it a 3.5. Because it's, I'm it's marginally better than The Grinch because, I mean, I don't even know what I rated The Grinch, but. I, we could have rated The Grinch like a one. Yeah. I'm going to rate this a, uh, because remember, we don't need to, I mean, we do, because sometimes I say you need a scalar based on what you've said. Yeah. But this is just, let's keep this separate from the Grinch right now. This is a five. This is a five because you can, you know, you can find some humor in there, whether it be dark, whether it be light, whatever it happens to be. I mean, you know, we have, we've had a guy, a guy falling down a shim- chimney. <laughs> there's, there's something in that. I'll give it a four. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something about that. Some people call it chimney, but some people call it a chimney. And this has been the back catalog. Talk saying. You called it a chimney then, that's